Welcome to this crop update for the Farm Advisory Service. I'm Fiona Burnett from SRUC and we're here at some of our spring barley trials out in Midlothian and like many spring barleys this year the wet weather has led to quite lush growth so crops are actually better than, than anticipated given how late they were drilled. That lush wet growth has obviously led to other risks so we are seeing a bit of rhynchosporium sneaking into crops and as we're coming up to the booting sprays, Ramularia remains a concern. So we know it enjoys wet conditions and we also know it likes changes between cold and high temperatures and we're getting that stressful conditions as well. We're seeing little bits of stress in crops as well. It's been hard for people with windy cold weather to keep up with spray timing. So some complex mixes going on to crops, so little bits of scorch. And like many sites, we've also got BYDV here at this site. So Aphids are quite prevalent this year and we're seeing them getting into to spring barley crops as well. Another thing to watch out in the spring barleys is ergot, which can come in from surrounding grass margins. So something to watch for as you're harvesting. Its risk is of course mycotoxins and that really takes us to thinking about the wheats, where again, if you're putting wheat into the food chain, you have to do a mycotoxin risk assessment. And that means getting a well-timed uh, fungicide on early flowering. Where it's wet like this, that timing is really key. There is a little bit of talk on the channels about additional T4 sprays in wheat. They really tend not to be cost-effective, add to yield. Um, so, and they're also a bit late to really manage the, the fusarium and mycotoxin risk. So not generally advised. Again, wet weather uh, and bursts of warm temperature have led to a lot of blight outbreaks in potatoes south of the border. Uh, we now have our first confirmed case in Scotland down in the southwest, so really important on potatoes to get the blight sprays onto very tight intervals and suitable for, for rapid growth. Viruses remain a concern in potatoes as well, so getting your yellow water traps out, uh, roguing seed crops, early and regularly is, is really important to keep on top of, of that in, in potatoes. And then just a final thing for potatoes, um, we are getting more reports of wireworms being problematic in potatoes. So they are the, the larval stage of, of click beetles and previously linked with, you know, after grass, uh, after cover crops, but we're seeing them increasingly. So maybe one just to keep an eye on um, while you're looking at potato crops.